By default, SwiftUI's HStack and VStack both load their content immediately when they're created, which is likely to be slow when you make views up front in long scroll views. As of iOS 14, we now have lazy versions of both those stacks, which load their content on demand. It's much more efficient for lots of data. Let's try it out here. We can say in our body, I want to have a scroll view. And inside that have a lazy VStack, a lazy loading VStack. And I'll do a for each, one through a thousand using id backslash dot self and the value coming in. And then we'll do text row backslash value, like that, through string interpolation. And boom, you'll now get a lazy loaded VStack. Now they are subtly different from regular VStacks, and you might just see why. If I scroll around here, let's load them as we go. But look at the scroll bar here on the right edge of my phone area. I can click and drag in this white space to scroll around. Now let's make that not lazy, a regular old school VStack, like that. And you'll see a difference in the size. Here, look at the scroll view. It's now right next to the edge, not on the edge of the phone, and uh, interaction options. So if I click on this white area, nothing happens anymore. I've got to drag directly on the text. This is because the lazy versions of VStack and HStack automatically have a full area preferred width and height. They'll expand to fill the space, which makes sense because they're lazy, it doesn't know how much content it's going to need, so it'll take all available content. Now, when using these things, uh, you're going to find that it'll lazy load its stuff, which is great. But once it's made the struct, it'll keep it in RAM, the, the view struct. And you can see it in action. If we were to have a test row up here, struct sample row conforms to view. If I do let ID is an int, and then for our body, some view, and text row ID. So I'll have the text for the ID in the row. And in initializer, we'll have ID int. And I'll print out that we are loading row ID. So we can see what's happening. I assign that to our own uh, ID property. And now in our for each down here, we can say for each one through a thousand. And let's pass that directly into content sample row dot init. So make the sample row now up front. And when we do that, it'll print out loading row one, loading row two, and so forth. Let's find out. So if I bring this up here, a bit of space. You can see it's loading all the rows, all the rows up front, because we still have our simple old school uh, VStack. Lots of rows being made. If I change to a lazy VStack, and do exactly the same thing, now Command R, we should see only some rows being made, down to 42 or so. Yep, down there. There's no more after that, that's all of them. And I scroll, you'll see more get made automatically. Right at the bottom, when it's made them all, it will stop making them. It'll keep them in RAM. If I scroll back, you'll see no more messages being printed out because that view struct, once it's made, stays in memory.